So I've always wanted to build one of these sleeper PCs, but I've never kind of been in the right situation. Like you need to get the case, you need to get the right parts for it. And it's kind of just one of those things that never really crossed my mind of actually doing it. I've always thought they were really cool, but I never really expected myself to actually do it. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing it. I'm gonna be showing you how. So let's get into it. Okay, so obviously step one is get the case. I got this old IBM computer, which was fried. So before you guys start commenting that I'm killing vintage tech, this thing was already broken. Now we can start disassembling it. It was pretty easy because it's just like a micro ATX case, just with some vintage hardware. The only problem I ran into was that the original DVD player was not going to uh, fit my power supply because it was so big. So I kind of just DIY'd this and taped it together and then put it back on the front and it looks, you know, like there's a DVD player. Okay, so now we get to the modern parts. So I got these parts for a PC flip that I was doing. So that's why some of these things are newer and just, you know. I wouldn't be buying these just for this build, but it kind of aligned. Like I got an ITX motherboard, um, and I had a GPU that could fit, so I just started assembling the stuff, and then we're gonna put it in the PC. I got really lucky because this old PC case is actually uh, ITX and uh, micro ATX ready. So I was just able to just put it in and uh, screw it in without having to do anything. Except my original GPU didn't fit, so I had to switch to this uh, 1070 instead of a 1080. And just like that, this PC is ready to run. I was not expecting it to be this easy at all, but it kind of just worked out that way, and I'm super happy with the result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time.